Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Uh, also just a reminder, if you could leave behind a like or a subscribe, that would be very much appreciated Virgo. Let's get straight into it and see what's potentially coming up for you in the upcoming month, Virgo. Okay, let's start off with the Justice card. Now, this could be a contract coming in for some of you in regards to work, career, or creative pursuits. Um, it can also be legalities. So legalities are coming to the forefront, okay, for a lot of you. Now, there's some sort of financial settlement or um, dividends that are coming for some of you. You've been waiting or fighting for this for quite some time, Virgo, and it might be coming in around you at the beginning of November. It's settling old scores, I feel, with the Justice card. So... Yes, it's seen as the scales of justice. It could also be a partnership that's coming together or needing to make a final decision about a partnership. I say partnership because the justice card represents the sign of Libra, which is a partnership sign. Um, and it's all about having counterparts. So it's yourself and another person or another company or another party involved. And you're really evening that out, especially if there's been obstacles or deceit or if things haven't been very, very direct. Um, then I feel you're, it's, if, if things have been a bit retrograde, so to speak, then you're coming into a more forward motion with the justice card here. So possibly receiving some news on a final decision or an outcome. Um, say if you've been wanting to move overseas, if you've been wanting to get some sort of license, maybe some sort of documents, uh, this could be coming up around you in the beginning of the month. You do have the Five of Pentacles um, here as well, uh, and it could, have, of course, be a Libra coming through here too. Now, um, you do have the Five of Pentacles. You do represent Pentacles here, Virgo. So it could be that you're in a precarious financial situation or it may be a message here that you need to watch your finances, maybe your investments, um, or it could even be there might be an earth sign around you. You do have the sign of a Taurus that has come through that might be feeling a little bit neglected. Now, you might be placed in this position as well, Virgo. There might be a part of you that feels somewhat neglected or shut out in the cold. So there's a certain situation that you'll have to fight for. You see how they're walking towards the Ace of Swords? They're not giving up on a certain situation. Now, this could be you being quite relentless and not giving up on a job offer, not giving up on this person, not giving up on a marriage, not giving up on a friendship, um, because there's perseverance. It, despite the obstacles the, these two figures have encountered, whether this is a, 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 um, a coupling up or a business partnership, they're going to fight for it. And it's that beautiful Ace of Swords that says you need to fight for something. It's time to slice away the negativity, but it's also time to fight and get victory. Now, this could be applicable to a lot of situations. For me, the Aces do represent new chapters in our lives. So for a lot of you, there might be someone under an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius coming in around you romantically or with businesses or platonically but they're going to open up a new chapter in your life. And with the Ace of Swords, it could be someone that grasps you mentally, that really understands you. Um, you might have a lot of common interest with this person, but it's anything to anything that awakens the mind. So I feel like this in this new chapter, Virgo, suddenly you're thinking differently. Your perception is changing. Yourself as a person, uh, internally you are changing. It could also be an Aries coming through who sits in the same column. Could be your Emperor that's coming in for romance um, to help you fight. Could be an agent, could be a representative. It could be someone on your behalf who's helping you or will help you in a certain situation that you need assistance with. But I almost want to say don't give up, Virgo, because victory can be yours. The crown can be seen on top of the sword here. And this is powerful stuff. And especially if you have influential people, which I believe you do, you've got the Justice card, King of Pentacles, the Emperor. These are all very well-known people in the courtly cards. So I want to tell you, especially because they're major arcana cards, I want to tell you not to give up because there's change or there's transformation taking place. 
And some of you might be going up against the Emperor, but victory could be yours. So the Emperor brings a confrontational situation here. It's not always easy to appease him, to please him, to, you know, get the green light from him. And this could be in several settings. Um, so it could be that a, a part of you feels like you have to try very, very hard. But I do see results. Now, someone might not be playing fair here, however. Seven of Swords. Uh, deceit, lies, theft beating around the bush, not being direct with communication, you're going to put an end to it in some way, Virgo. You see it happening around you, whether it's directly happening to you or maybe happening to a friend or a colleague. But this sort of situation is, is, around, is around you in November. Could also be avoidance. Um, the Seven of Swords avoids to talk about something, to discuss it. Um, he walks away from it. He pulls away. And then I mentioned that struggle with the Ace of Swords, anything to do with communication. So someone might be pulling away here, Virgo, or you might be pulling away. And it could be someone in regards to their communication. It won't be as frequent. It won't be as effective. You might feel like a part of you, you don't feel like you're getting through to them. But really you are. You really are. I mean, you've got the King of Pentacles here as well. See how the Seven of Swords looks to the King of Pentacles. I feel maybe towards the middle part, I definitely feel towards the end of November, you're going to get a lot more clarity in a situation than you have now. And the King of Pentacles is a very comfortable king. He's the last king of the deck. He's been through it all. He's seen it all. And he comes out on top. And because you represent Pentacles, this is you, Virgo. To go from the Five of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles is a lot of perseverance and a lot of stability, but it's well worth it. Now, for a lot of you, this could be a jump in your finances. You might be able to plug, you know, um, plug a few holes here, pay back debts, receive a lump sum of money, receive an asset, um, use an asset as collateral. Financially, I think there's a quantum leap for a lot of you. Um, it could be prestigiousness in career as well, a promotion, a change in title or status. Let's not forget that the Emperor holds a very important status, as does the King of Pentacles. So roles and statuses are changing in the workplace or career-wise. Your titles, your roles, your responsibilities, duties, delegations, um, contributions. I think there's a shift occurring for a lot of you. Now, for some, there is a jump from where are we going, you know, in a relationship setting. Where are we going? I feel neglected. I haven't gotten much attention. I don't know where this is going. Um, this person hasn't been clear. I've, I've put my foot down. I've, I've given them the benefit of the doubt. I've tried to extract their words, their way of thinking, and I don't have anything. I feel like there's a quantum leap here as well because the five is that neglect and you're actually going to the king of pentacles, which I said oozes complacency. He's very, very settled. So the dust is going to settle here, Virgo, and there's going to be a shift and suddenly you're going to feel a lot more secure. I don't know if this is you're going to feel a lot more secure because of been internally or because as a result of what someone else does, as a result of someone else's actions or behavior or words. But suddenly in that middle column, you're going from the five to the king. Now, this is a big jump. So obviously, I feel like there's something big that takes place. Maybe it's an argument. Maybe it's a conversation. Maybe it's an action. Maybe it's a deed. Something that gets done to take you from the despaired five to the comfortable, complacent, confident king. So you are coming out on top, essentially. The situation could come in the form of the Emperor. Now, the Emperor likes to challenge us. The Emperor represents Aries. Aries is ruled by the God of War, conflict, opposition. You know, they're ruled by Mars, um, which epitomizes the God of Aries, okay? So, looking at that, I do feel like there's something that comes to a showdown. I do feel like there's a showdown or a climax, um, or a built up moment of hype and it's all heightening it's been a long this has been a long time coming virgo and i feel it's going to come to the forefront maybe towards the end of november but all the information um clarity things that you were second guessing things you didn't know about i feel like you're going to have answers by the time that the month wraps up 
and it's going to come through possibly an intimidating or uncomfortable situation because the emperor doesn't give much in return he's very very poised he's got a barren land behind him and to get to that barren land okay so it doesn't it's something that doesn't look highly probable but to get there we must appease the emperor we must do something to bypass him to get his green light to overcome him and he can be very challenging he can put us on the spot um you know he can be very, very intimidating and this can be in a work setting or it can be in a relationship but the situation could arise in both or either one and then suddenly it all comes to the surface here you do have influential people around you but look the emperor i feel like the emperor can be an um it can be someone who's coming into your life who means well but the way they're going about it it does it might not necessarily come across this way so subliminal messages from the seven of swords maybe um does this attitude of the emperor match up with what this person or this um company or this whatever it is that's demanding of you um does it match up with their behavior because there could be um impressions that go haywire but I think for the most part, these are influential people around you. So they obviously have hold some sort of importance to you, whether they're in your social circle or in your family or in your work setting, they're coming up around you. And I feel like they're press, that they're giving their opinion forward. They are, um, there's something that they're doing. Okay. Um, and that's going to come forward here. And it could be explosive, and it could be fireworks, could be a bit of a showdown here, Virgo. So look, um, I will leave it at that.